come from a long line of skiers. My junior and senior year in high school, I had started to become pretty good. I felt as though I had a shot at the US ski team. One specific day, I feel like something's weird in my shoulder. Maybe I had a pinched nerve. The next day after that, I couldn't walk normally. They told me that I had a cavernous malformation. It's a cluster of blood vessels and it had ruptured and was causing bleeding in my brain. And all of a sudden it was, oh my gosh, what's, what happens now? The good news about vascular neurosurgery is that a lot of this is curable disease. And it's really nice to be able to tell patients, listen, this is something we can cure. Leading up to the surgery, the fear really started to set in. Knowing the right strategy, knowing what the right thing to do, really depends on expertise and experience. And that's why we're really proud of the team that we have here at UW Medicine, who really can provide that guidance. The secret to our success, I think, is seamlessly blending compassionate care with technology. These are among the most well-trained, most experienced and renowned surgeons in the country and even around the world. We were there waiting in the room when they brought her in after the surgery. And the next day they said, you know, let's see if we can get you out of bed. And um, she said, okay. I talked to my coach and said, I really want to still be part of the team, even though I can't train or compete yet and I found a passion for coaching. It kind of brings the joy back. I don't feel limited by what has happened and I feel that I can pursue any career that I would like. There's nothing stopping me.